town The cops just get the wrong around Wham bam, kapow, who's gonna help us now? <laughs> Call the feds, the people cry These bad guys got no alibi Is there a crime buster in the house? Call for Elliot Mouse No baloney, this guy's no phony On ass to the bone Step on the gas mask, trap that bad Well, hello there, come. No one walks these streets at night. The sirens wail and bullets fly. We need a little justice now. Call for Elliot Mouse. We live in fear of cheese racketeers. the sky. But we've got tough guys on our side. So kiss your kids goodbye. Incredible. Incredible. Unbribable. Unbribable. The untouchable. The untouchable. She's Since Elliot Mouse and his untouchables first arrived in Cheesecago, the city's newspapers have been full of their achievements. Their raids against Al Catone's nefarious activities were followed with great interest by the residents of the city. The success of the untouchables' operations made a great impression on the good people of Cheesecago, so that many of them no longer turned a blind eye to the sinister machinations of Al Catone and his hoodlums. And knowing there were brave men finally willing to confront the dangerous Al Catone, those honest citizens who wished to lend justice a hand did so by contacting the untouchables directly, by leaving them anonymous notes at the Cheese Paris Club. Oh. As you can see, it ain't that easy to do. Voila, your four mixed cheese cocktails, monsieur. But I didn't order anything, Pierre. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting you don't like cheese at all, Wilson. Well, I'll take yours if you don't mind. You've made the same mistake 10 times over the last week, Gordon. Well, Pierre, you got anything for me? No, Monsieur Elliot, I'm so sorry. I haven't found any notes hidden on the tables today. Well, it's still early. We can wait here a little longer. Hey, Louis, we got that other job to do. Come on, we better get going. Sure, okay. Hey, Jim, it's a message for the untouchables. I want Pierre. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Monsieur Elliot, Jim has found a note addressed to you. But how could you know that, Pierre? He's still playing. It's quite simple if you'll let me explain, Gordon. We use a secret code here in the club. Yeah, similar to Morse code. That's very interesting. Yes, it is. But I'd like to hear what this note says. Thanks. Well, a secret informer has information on how Catone is distributing stolen goods throughout the city. In the mail vans, right under our noses so we wouldn't suspect it. That's sneaky. Yeah, but what are we gonna do? I can't smell all the mail routes in the city. Well, according to this, the gang make the switch before the vans go out on delivery. All right, we'll go over to the main mail office. Let's move. If things carry on like this, we're gonna have to close the club down. People are only coming in here to meet the untouchables, and now some of the musicians have started to get offers to play for some other club. That true, Pierre? We do not know yet, monsieur. They have received an offer from a club, and if we do not have paying customers coming here, well, c'est la vie. This is the place. Man, what a dive. What's it matter as long as they pay well? Come on. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, hi, we're the new musicians. Uh, I think you're expecting us. Huh? 
Not so fast, Bob. What's in the case? Open it and don't try anything. Why, that ain't nothing but my horn, sir. Yeah, and what about yours? Well, what do you think? It's a double bass. We are musicians, remember? I don't know, Jim. You shot this place is on the level. Come on, always gotta check us out. We might be gangsters or something. All right, you guys better come in. I guess the cleaners are a little slack around here. Hey, boss, Sharp Nose Snout, tell him you musicians arrive. That's great. Bring them over, Sharp Nose. Huh? You music men, you follow Sharp Nose. Mr. Moran won't see you. Moran? Does he mean dog Moran, Alcatone sworn enemy? That's right. Moran owns this blue hole. Didn't you see his name outside over the door? Let's scoop before we get into something we can't get out of. Well, why should we worry about working for some gangster? We're only musicians. So you're Jim from the Cheeseberry Band, huh? That's me, Mr. Moran. So what do you think of my little place? You like it? Well, gee, it's hard to say, Mr. Moran. To tell you the truth, I never played a pool hall before. Yeah, ain't exactly a dance hall, but I like music while I play. It helps me concentrate. Look at that, Mr. Gen. Right, guys, how's 200 cheese dollars per show sound? Well, the noise from the pool balls will make it difficult to concentrate. You're right. How about we say 500 a night? Huh? Uh-huh. Uh that sounds fine. Hmm. Here oh. you shoot pool yourself, Jim. Yeah, well, I practice a bit. So, what do you say you bet tonight's salary on a game against me? Oh. Huh. Go on, the guy's a real putz the way he plays, you can't lose. All right, you're on. So, let's play. Sure, whatever. Hey, Adam, rack him up. Here we go, gentlemen. Double or nothing. Who breaks? Go ahead. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Well, good luck, Jim. I haven't left you much. Well... Red ball in the corner. Green ball, right corner. Double the yellow. He ain't a bad player, but Lady Luck Orange seems to be ball, on the side. <laughs> Round ball. Huh? Purple ball in the center. Yeah. Blue ball. Finally, black ball in the bottom left corner. Yeah. Game to Jim. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He plays the double bass and he's an ace. Sam. You were lucky, Jim. There's 500 for tonight's show, plus the 500 you won from me. A thousand cheese dollars all told. You want to double the bet? Uh, well, what do you say? Oh. Okay, rack them up. Same game, gentlemen. The black ball game for a thousand dollars. Red ball to the corner pocket. I am hot tonight. Game to Jim. There, that's another 30,000. It's just not my night, Jim. Well, now, what do you say to another game? Well, I really don't know about that, Mr. Moran. It is kind of late, and I've won over 60,000 cheese dollars already. I don't want to push my luck. Oh, come on, Jim. You're not going to leave it there, are you? Give a guy one last chance, won't you? No. Please. Okay, one last one. You can stop. This is my game. I can feel it. Huh? Why? Hey! Excuse me. Yellow in the corner. He potted the black. Game to Mr. Moran. Huh? Is it? What's wrong? I... I don't understand. How'd that happen? How could what happen? You mean you lost, Jim? All right, I lost, but I played like I always played, Louie. It must have been some kind of fluke. If you like, I can offer you a return match. You won't play again? I wouldn't go and quit on you because I'm winning. Set him up, Adam. Oh, 
I seem to have missed them all again. This is our chance, Jim. Now, you okay? Sure, I'm okay. Brown ball, right pop. Came to Mr. Morell. That can't be. It just came. Well, Jim, I guess you owe me 64,000 cheese dollars. I don't have that kind of money, Mr. Moran. We'd have to work for you for over a year to get anywhere near that amount. But I couldn't possibly let you pay in installments. I've got my reputation to think of. There must be an alternative. Well, there ain't, at least not that I can see. Hey, maybe you heard something at the Cheese Paris worth 64000 I understand the Untouchables get information there about Al Catone, which could be extremely useful. We don't know anything about all uh. that, Mr. Moran. Huh? I'm sorry, Jim. I must have misheard you. Or would you like Kevin to go on demonstrating his skills? Hey, leave Louie sure. alone. It's got something to do with U.S. mail trucks. Excellent, Jim. Please go on. Hey, it's starting to get light already. When are we gonna have breakfast? I'm hungry. Just hold on a second, Gordon. It'll be arriving any moment. There they are. Start the car and pull up to the entrance slowly, Jack. I want to catch him red-handed. You witty yet? It's thanks to you we end up getting here in broad daylight. Oh, but I just wanted to make the trip worthwhile and mail a little letter to my folks in Canada. Yeah, well, you must have written a dictionary because you were at it over two hours. Well, I still got to do it. I only had time to write the envelope. Right, Jack. Lock the exit and we'll follow you on foot. Hey, are you all right, Jack? I'm fine, but those hoods are getting away. Well, they may have got away, but the cheese will still be in the delivery van, so we can recover it. Come on, let's go. Right, FMI. Come out with your hands up. I don't believe it. I do. That's considerate of the mailman to leave a gift. Looks like someone got here ahead of us. Hey, Jim, Louie, how'd your gig go last night? Fine, Artie, just fine. Yeah, so are the long faces, guys. There's something you want to tell me about, Louie? Oh, no, Thelonious, not at all. Come on now, we better practice. I just don't get it. If that message was a fake, then they'd have set a trap for us. But that didn't happen, did it? So what can we surmise from that? Someone must have stolen the cheese. Only this time, we know it wasn't Catone. One of Catone's rivals might have got hold of the information. Yeah, but who? You're the only ones who read that note. Someone from this club hey, might be trying to make a profit out of it. How dare ah. you even think something like that? You should be ashamed after all the help the people in this club had given you since you came to Cheese Club. Uh, I'm sorry, Deborah. I was just I saying I don't want to that... see any of you in my club ever again. Do you hear me? Now get out! Well, we better go, fellas. I got a feeling I messed things up good this time. Well, go to my garage. I've got to repair the 326 anyway. We gotta do something about this. I'm gonna go back to Moran's and play pool and try to get that cheese back, Louie. Yeah, but what if you lose? Moran ain't fooling around. He's dangerous. I won't lose, man. I just had a bit of bad luck. Trust me, okay? We'll make a fortune with this cheese on the black market. <laughs> And we've also managed to hurt Mr. Catone at the same time. Excuse me, boss, but that musician is here. Excellent. The only one missing from the party. Show him in, Johnny. Show him in. Rack him up, Adam. And don't forget to switch the black ball. Well, well, Jim, my old pool buddy, what a surprise. It's a bit early for your show, isn't it? Cut the cheddar, Moran. You know full well what I'm here for. You were lucky yesterday, but now I'm going to beat you and win back those cheese dollars. Hey, boss, seems the big fiddle player's interested in a big bet. It certainly does. Well, how big a bet, my boy? The same as yesterday, 500 cheese dollars for the first game. Agreed, and you can break. All right, let's get it on. It's past 11 and there are no more customers. What do you want to do, Pierre? Oh, well, it is still early, you know? Oh, by the way, Louis, where did Jim get to tonight? None of us have seen him all evening. Uh, not sure. Well, if Jim ain't here, I bet he's got a better paying job at another club. Uh-uh, his base is still here. 
So why don't we all go down this club and look for him? Oh, I shouldn't bother about that. I mean, you don't all want to go down there, do ya? Come on, Louie, huh? Hey, Deborah, coming with us to try and find Jim? We oui? go, mademoiselle. Go and enjoy yourself. I'll tidy up. I guess I might as well. Maybe I'll learn something about what the competition does to get customers in. Is party de black game to Mr. Moran? No, it can't be. I'm sorry, Jim. You now owe me another 64,000 cheese dollars. Every time we play a decisive game, I pop the black ball. I don't know what's happening, but I think there's some kind of trick to this. A trick? Did he say some kind of trick? He sure did, boss. A trick. Big, ugly word. Looks to me like we got ourselves a bad loser. Oh, come on, Jim. Pay up like a gentleman before I get really angry. You know I haven't got that kind of money. Well, then perhaps you'd care to tell me something worth 64000 You lousy creep. Oh! Talk! Talk fast! Oh... All right, I'll talk. Oh... Now tell us what you know. Well, I heard something about the gas station out on the highway. The gas station? Yeah, the gas station, that's right, yeah. Catone fills tanker trucks up with cheese so he can deliver the stuff to all his nightclubs, you see? That's quite the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. Oh... Excuse me, boss. The musician's friends are outside. What do you want me to tell them? Don't let them in. Stall him. Tell him he's already gone. Your friend's gone already. Hey, open up. Can we come in? Sorry, mess. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. That's that. Seems like everything's going against us. I just hope this works. Hey, wait a minute. Quiet, everyone. Can you hear that sound? Well, well. So you're a drummer as well as a bass player, hmm? Yeah, I can hear it too. Oh, yeah, and it sounds like our secret language. It's Jim. Moran's kidnapped him. And they're taking him to the gas station on the highway. Enough with the bongos. You're making me jittery. Come on, pal. You're taking us to that gas station. Just exactly what's going on here, Louie. Come on now, my man. Spill the beans. Yesterday, Moran fleeced Jim and forced him to tell him the Untouchables' plan. So today, Jim came back to try and recover the cheese. We've got to get in touch with the Untouchables. As I had to fix it anyway, I've added some improvements. Elliot, Jack, it's Jim. He's in danger. What is it, Deborah? What happened? Moran has kidnapped him. There's no time to explain. We gotta get out to the gas station on the highway. Okay, everyone in the car. Look, I'm real sorry about what I said earlier. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You were right. Look, I'll tell you about it as we go along. All set? I don't see anyone coming, nosy. We hope you not tell lie. No, no, the information was good, I swear. They should be long any minute. Look out, Kevin, someone comes. Oh! It no good with so much gasoline in air, Big Nose pick up nothing at all. Well, come on, let's get in the car. Okay, everybody hold tight. Okay! Huh? Brace yourself! Oh. 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 Nice work, Jack. Okay, we've got him. Not so fast, Chief Ball. First, I think you've got to lend us your nice car, right? Don't worry now, Jim. We'll get you out of this. Oh, I'm not worried. All of you, step out of way. And now, sudden moves. How does Sharp Nose start this heap up? That's not a heap, and you start it by pushing the red button. Ha, ah, can't fool me. Sharp Nose press green button. Help! Help get me down from here. We no stand smell of gasoline. Jim, are you okay? Okay, Bill, it's up to you. Set 
sudden match. Guess you really pinned him down. I owe you an apology and an explanation. It's all right, Jim. You can save your breath. Louis has already explained everything. There's only one thing still puzzling me, and that's how Moran was able to beat you at pool. First, I thought it was just bad luck, but now I'm convinced he was pulling some kind of flim flam. Well, we better find out how he does it before he rips off anyone else. Now, just do as we told you and don't try anything. Okay, bad guys, do you know what to say? We know. Oh, hi, guys, where you been? Get back, don't even breathe loud. It's no good, I don't think I'm ever gonna learn this rotten game. For such a bad player, I hear you don't make out too badly when it comes to betting, is that right, Moran? Well, if it isn't our friends from the FMI and Elliot Mouse in person. Tell me, Moran, what's your secret, huh? Ah, ah, ah. To be a winner, my boy, you have to have some confidence and self-belief. I'd like to see some of that confidence. Why don't you play Jim here for, oh, say about a thousand cheese dollars? I accept, sir. Rack him, madam. Right, gentlemen, for a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, whoever pots all their balls in the black wins. We all know how the game's played, so why don't we just get on with it for a change, huh? Very well, your break, Jim. Red ball in the corner. He's putting the black. I've been taking notes, and all the balls follow their correct trajectory except for the black ball. Interesting. If Jim could sink all the other balls without actually touching the black, I see no reason why he should lose. You think you can do that, Jim? Of course I can. Tell you what, Moran, we'll play for high stakes. If you win, you can have your little boys back. But if we win, then we're gonna take all those boxes of cheese. Now, how does that grab you? <laughs> I see. Because you cannot prove that cheese is stolen, you wish to win it from me. Very well, I accept. That's good. So rack them up. My associates are hardly worth the value of all that cheese, but I'll play anyway, as I'm such a good sport, Adam. Confidence, you see. Oh. Brown ball in the middle, red, yellow. Uh. Blue ball in the corner, green ball yeah. top left. you look at that, just like it had a mind of its own. Hey, what's up, Moran? Has all the confidence deserted you? Hmm. Well, looky here. You're under arrest for deception. Uh, uh, uh. By the way, I'd like to thank you for playing Jim for all that cheese. If you hadn't, there was no legal way that we could have got it back, Moran. In view of what's happened, we're transferring our operations to Jack's garage. Oh, but there's no reason for you to hurry, is there? Well, there's no real hurry, but we thought that this would be better for everyone concerned. Well, I wouldn't say it was better for everyone. After all, what am I going to do without Pierre's mixed cheese cocktails? And I shall miss keeping track of the cheese stock from here. Just hold on there a minute, fellas. My garage has got numerous advantages, I can assure you. I can only see disadvantages from where I'm sitting. What's Jim saying? Can you tell? Yeah, I can tell. Jim says that he'd like to buy the Untouchables a drink. That's terrific! So once again, the inhabitants of Cheese Cargo can enjoy their delicious cheese cocktails while Dog Moran cools his heels in jail. Here's to the success of Elliot Mouse and his Untouchables.
In the next episode of The Untouchables, Thomas, an unremarkable waiter, turns informer on Chicago's biggest hood of all, Al Catone. Elliot is able to milk enough information from Thomas to spoil the cheese for the crooks. But the milk turns sour and Elliot becomes a doubting Thomas. As Rat White gets his paws on the beautiful Sandra, The Untouchables have their noses put out. But can they stay on Catone's scent? Find out by watching the next gangster-packed adventure of Elliot Mouse and The Untouchables. I read it in the papers, the city's got the blues, she's got the... They're 